Hello my lovely Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning into your March reading for 2016. This is Lorian with your tarot guidance and spirit guide guidance and everything in between. For those of you who have come back to me, thank you ever so much for supporting the channel, welcome back. And for those who have just uh, stumbled across the channel, welcome. Thank you very much for trying me out. Um, so this month we are doing the general guidance for Aquarius Moon rising and sun signs if it is more personal reading that you're after go to my website which is laurian dot sorry laurian tarot dot wix dot com forward slash laurian tarot the link if in case you need it is down below in the description for those of you as well who have subscribed um to or supported me on patreon thank you so much and all donations now receive a three card reading from me so thank you for those who've already experienced that um, we're using the Druidcraft Tarot. I can't remember who actually does this deck, but this very much gets into the heart of the matter. It's um, a wonderful deck, I think, to go into very spiritual higher realms because we have the eclipses this month. So it should be something incredibly um, detailed for you, at least I hope, um, so we can get information through for you. Um, and also, just as an aside, my guides did ask me not to do an oracle card this month. Um, simply because I think these cards are so big <laughs> that they can't always fit in the um, uh, shot. And also because I think these have such a spiritual resonance with a lot of in-depth things. And because we've got the big things happening... You know, I think that there's a very strong feeling that that's, you know, these, this guidance is needed. Anyway. Alright. Okay, right. So I was just confirming the meditation that I did um, and kind of getting the information from my guides here. So. <laughs> Alright. We have a trade agreement or something like that. That's what they seem to suggest they don't want you to put your money or put your bets on one person in particular what they would like you to do is um shop around now i think this is in various things partnerships in business romance new opportunities friendships new work colleagues family members if your son or daughter has brought somebody home and you're not quite sure about them trust your instincts i think that is um and also, for those of you who are in competitions, uh, kind of be aware as to how you treat people in competitions and also how you're being treated. You know, for instance, writing competitions, singing, talent shows, whatever, even in competition in business. If you feel, I'll just lift this up for a second, if it'll let me. If you feel that you're being mistreated and you are walking away defeatist, um, don't let that person win keep trying to go for it please do because you do have the strength necessary and i do feel that you are going to be more i think it's like a red dawn rises you are going to feel kind of like oh you know i'm really not happy with the way things have just gone i wish i could have done something different or i wish it would have been a different experience um I think at the beginning of this month, perhaps, or even throughout the month, they want you just to be mindful about your competition around you or how you view competition. Some people may have unfair advantages. Some people may not really want to associate with you or they may actually view you with a little bit of jealousy because they feel that you, you have the advantage. Um, so just watch about that because I think that there could be some kind of niche energy that's all that, that's all i can describe it as it's not a nice happy energy at least so then we have the three of wands which is good energy 
Threes are all about creativity and manifestation, and I do see the fact that now you've kind of planted your seeds, so to speak, with three... Okay, I'm going to describe this in music sense. You've had three albums, and now you're looking forward towards the path. You've kind, you're kind of, uh, say for instance, you've done the merchandise for the third album, you've done the... Um, your third achievement basically is over and done with and you feel very proud about it so now you're kind of entertaining the idea of where you go next where do I go next where is my road gonna take me what other opportunities do I want to bring into my life what do I want to explore where can I find my path where is it gonna lead me where in the world am I gonna settle where in the world am I gonna experience you know Aquarius is a very much um, open to experience, they are very much okay, no Aquarius is the same, they all view things very off kilter to other people, not necessarily bad, very much a case of looking at things from a different perspective, and I also feel that you will be maybe finding a little bit more of yourself again, you may look back to your first incarnation, you know, of this lifetime, you know, for instance, teenager you, or youthful you, and think, crikey, what was I doing, that wasn't me? Well, actually, it's still a part of you. It is still a part of you because you had to build upon that version of yourself. So I do feel that you are going to be moulding again. You, you're almost reinventing yourself again and becoming somebody else, becoming the you who you feel you need to transform into. And I think this is going to be really helpful for you this year, depending on what personal year you're in, because we are in a universal year nine of letting everything go. I think you're kind of charging yourself up now for the universal year one and starting off a new nine year cycle as you mean to go on. So that's a really cool thing to have there. Now, with this three of wands, you may find that you have a decision to make. Now, this could be um, very much a case of one path that leads through um, with a lot more reward but a lot more difficulty and the other path may be a little bit off the beaten track um, a little bit easier you have time to amble but you don't get as much rest and rewards and accolades as the other one now me being the determined ambitious little person I am I would always go the one with the more difficulty because I want the rewards and I want to basically gain a lot of experience. I think if you don't take the road... Okay, if you take the road less travelled, you experience more that shapes you more and you're able to test your strengths a little bit. If you do take, you know, the normal path or the, you know, the one that leads you around the reeking a little bit, you can get a nice distraction, you can get a nice alternative there and you may feel like, or more like you having a life rather than it being your career but I just get the impression here that you may not want to go difficult ways you may just want to rest so this is your decision everybody's decision will be different so don't worry about that too much I think you will have the how put it you will have the information necessary in order to do this this again is a trade agreement with yourself I think it's kind of like look I'll give myself this in order for this and I'll make sure I'm suited up I make sure I'm prepared I make sure I'm getting something from my efforts um, even if it's a competition I'll make sure that you know I'm still rewarded for participating um, spiritually and also monetary um, as well so I think this is very strong for you and the final card is the Prince of Pentacles hmm. <coughs> excuse me I think with this one it's kind of saying you are prepared for a battle if you need to. You are prepared to see things through to the bitter end. Um, and actually I think this ties in with that card very well because it's kind of like you're on the road now. You've geared up, you've suited up, you've got everything you need, you understand where you're going and it's time to move on. For actually, yeah, let me have a look. Dawn rising in March, beginning of March. Great. Second week of March, solar eclipse, daytime. Yeah, I can see where I'm going. It's been illuminated for me. This, okay, now I've gone back into the woods to get down to the path. 
I have two ways of going about it. And then the last thing, okay, I've made my decision. Here I go, suit it up. I'm going to walk along that path. I'm going to walk along that path and see where it takes me. And the sun sets on March and you're able now to kind of take the initiative and go forwards. Actually, solar eclipse during the day, of course. <laughs> so that makes sense. And lunar eclipse during the night, that makes sense too, because it's going into evening. So, yeah. I'm just checking if anybody else has any idea. Okay, <laughs> well this makes sense. Take the high road wherever possible. Just take the high road. Don't be afraid to... Okay, don't stoop to other people's levels who want to throw insults because, because, because bleh, if my words could come out. This is what happens when spirit guys just throw information at me. I trip over my words. So just because somebody is jealous of your talents, just because somebody is jealous of what they perceive you have that they don't or that they're lacking in, it doesn't mean that you have to stoop and accept their insults and throw one back at them. Move on. You know you're happy. You know you're going to be okay. You don't have to pay them any mind. It'll just annoy them if you keep walking forwards. So keep walking forwards. They'll get over it. Um... And I think this is kind of where you've got your shield here. You are battling against some people who would rather see you falter. But, meh. I don't think it's that big a deal. I honestly don't. I see this as being an absolutely great month for you, Aquarius. And I'm so pleased. Um, because I really do love you, Aquariuses. I think you're great. Lots of my favourite people are Aquarius. So, I think that you're going to make sure that you have a very good time this month. But also a productive month. Inwardly and outwardly. So this is very much a good planning stage. For those of you who would like a personal reading, as I said, just go to my website. As soon as I see a notification, I'll let you know how long it's going to be. Also, if you'd like to support me on Patreon or connect with me on Facebook or Twitter, go to the links below and I'd love to see you there. Thank you as always for those who comment and share and just the information that I get from you is great and I always love hearing from your experiences. Do let me know how March goes for you. And I wish you all the best during the eclipses. I'm really looking forward to seeing for what happens for you in April. And in the meantime, take care.